99 problems, but a mortgage ain't one. All right, you would have seen on my last video the uh, the two Class B Class B pluses from France. Well, we got another one. Just pulled in, and also had French license plates. I just spoke to the owner, and uh, she shipped this from France to South America three years ago, and has been traveling in it ever since. She went from South America, and she's driven it all the way up here. To Vancouver. It's a 2003 Sprinter. It's got the same awning as mine. How long has been? Very nice. I left South America in May last year to go to Colombia to Panama. Wow. And then up to Vancouver. What's your next stop? I go to east of Canada, maybe until Winnipeg, I think, and then I cross the uh, U.S. states. No, I go south for the winter. So across Canada to Winnipeg and then south in yeah. the winter, yes, yeah. Nice. To go Very to nice. Go and maybe in Mexico, I don't know. You don't want to be in Winnipeg in the winter. No. Here's in okay, Canada but not, not, not Winnipeg. Yeah, no. Uh, not at all. No. And Here, uh, lots of people live year-round in the because Vancouver is always above freezing. It's warm, yeah. so but Winnipeg, forget it. Oh my God, <laughs> no, <laughs> they no. call it Winter Peg. Oh, yeah. That's what we call okay. it. Yeah. What's your name? Catherine. Catherine. Justin. Very nice to meet you. And this is Melinda. Melinda. Yeah. This is Maui. And this is Maui. Oh, I love Catherine. Yeah. Well, we uh, we would like to officially welcome you to the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a full house here. It's like a nightmare park in Vancouver. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta know the places to park for sure. I've been doing this for 15 years plus, so I know where to park and how to play the game. Right? Never stay too long in one place. Move around, right? So. But I know there are so many camper vans here in Canada. That's why, oh, yeah. especially here. Yeah. That's why they call it Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, Vancouver. Yeah. Vancouver. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they should organize something for... They should. Office. They should, but, uh, you know, city governments and bureaucrats, politicians, they don't like us because we're not uh, paying property tax and, you know... Yes, but a lot of people are, are we? having back, uh, holidays. Oh yeah, that too, absolutely. So for, need, for the, for the Olympics, also, uh, for the Olympics, they were going to turn a bunch of these parking lots way down the beach into RV camping for the Olympics. Okay. And it didn't happen because all of the wealthy people that live in the neighborhood started protesting. Because everyone knows that anything goes with good old KD. So tonight it's going to be KD and some beef. Let's throw some steak in the craft dinner. And um, that's what I call a gourmet meal. Mm -mm. If you don't eat your meat, how can you have any pudding? Cook, baby, cook. And of course, yeah, you gotta have some of that. Dear Lord, it is glorious. <clears throat> Eat your heart out, vegetarians. Pick up your Keep on Rockin' in the Free World sticker now or choose from some of the others over on my site at justincredible.net.